when it comes to Lichy's clean and organic care, I really want to take this opportunity to thank my viewers for being there for me, for being so, so supportive. I want to say God bless you. Thank you so much. And I have a wonderful topic I want to teach today, I want to talk about today. This is what I have. This is a, this is a popular leaf. It's called scent leaf. It's used as a spice in cooking, in cooking different kinds of meal. It has wonderful scent. It has heavenly aroma. Can you cook with a soup, porridge, stew, rice, soup, jello fry soup? It's used as a spice. But do you see this leaf in my hand? It has lots and lots of medicinal properties. And it also has um, a spiritual property also. You can use it also spiritually. So, but today I'm talking about the medicinal property. If you, as a woman, you are approaching your monopause or you are both 40 and you're worried about your monopause, you don't need to worry with, with sand leaf. You don't need to worry with sand leaf. With sand leaf and garlic, your monopause can be delayed. There's a property in, 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 in this leaf that will improve you as a woman, that will cause your monopause to be delayed. When you combine it with the garlic, you don't have a problem. I begin to consume it. Maybe when you plant garlic and, and sand leaf, it's either you boil or you just put in a jar, pour water after 24 hours, you sieve it and drink it at least three, four times a week. You stop. The next week you do the same thing. Three, four times a week you stop. The next week you do the same thing. And you know that even for men, for men that are having better dysfunction or poor ejaculation or quick ejaculation. There's a property in sand leaf called arginine that improves your penine health. That can take care of that poor ej quick ejaculation. All you need to do is get it, boil it, begin to take the tea. Yes. Get it, boil it, and begin to take the tea. It has one lot of one lot of properties and benefits. It takes care of stomach issues, dysentery, diarrhea. It takes care of it. If you're always having problem of indigestion, some people they're always having this problem of indigestion. They will eat and the thing will not digest. Before you know it, they are stomach blood, blunted stomach indigestion. This is it. Sand leaf tea. Just take a glass cup after meal if you're going to bed. A tea cup or first thing in the morning. Take it in moderation. If you want to take it as a tea, take it two times or three times a week. You must take it in moderation. It has a property that can take care of when somebody is having convulsion. When somebody is having convulsion, all you need to do is put it over a flame. Put it over a flame, a low heat, over a low heat flame. And then squeeze and then rub into the person's face, nose, mouth, ear. And, and there will be a difference. It, it has a lot of wonderful properties for whooping cough. For whooping cough, you can squeeze it out. Add a little honey and be able to take. It has a lot of benefits health wise. Please, if you have find this information helpful, don't forget to like, drop your questions, drop your comments. Please share this video. You will be helping somebody. You will be helping somebody. Share this video. God bless you. See you when I drop my next video. Bye.